Okay, so we can now use multiple agents when we're working. So historically, we used to have to, historically, a couple of weeks ago, we used to have to copy and paste the copy into one of the agents to fulfill the next task, the next part of the workflow. Now we no longer need to do that. We can keep everything in one chat rather than multiple chats, which could be a bit confusing. This is quite incredible. It's going to save a considerable amount of time and is super, super smart. So I'm in Canvas. And what you would do is you would put the at sides, at sign, so it brings the agent up. So I've just written a blog post. So the next thing me to do, for me to do is to do the meta description, the description, the tags, the categories, you know, that bit that is the royal pain in the ass that takes a long time. So I've opened up that agent, that specific agent to do that task. Now, what I've noticed is, is you have to give it a clear instruction. Otherwise, it doesn't quite know what to do. So I'm just going to say, follow Isabella. And then, in theory, it's going to start to create the meta description. Let me just get off here. It will be easier to see. So, brilliant. I've got the heading, I've got the meta description, I've got the name of the slug. You know, I've got all the bits that I need in here. So I haven't had to copy and paste across to another agent, which is, is really cool. So let's... Um, Let's do some quotes from that copy. So all I'm saying is follow Ben. Then what it will do is it will carry out the task to pull out the quotes because that's how I've created uh, Ben. It's giving me two options here because it's using a new system. It's asking me which one I prefer. I'm just going to actually pick one because it doesn't really... Uh, oh, it hasn't finished. Normally it comes up with a uh, normally it comes up with a choice. Where's my choice? Here we go. Let's just do this. I failed to update. I wonder if that. I wonder if that's because it's been it into the document. it's possible that it's trying to put the quotes directly into the into the article so what i've asked it to do is not to update the article but to put the quotes here so i can use these i've got the article i've got my seo and i can use these quotes in my social media so I'm not having to jump around using my other AI agents, which is really, really cool. So I could then turn this into social media posts. I can't remember. Remember. Um. Funny, I can't remember the name of the agent. So you're getting the opportunity to pin to the left-hand side here. So always pin the ones that you are the that you use consistently. These are the ones I use consistently. So they're always in the top left-hand corner. I think the clock means that it's like one-time use that it's not up in the left-hand corner, but these are new. This has literally just happened, the pinned ones. This wasn't here before. And it's updating all the time. I've noticed that this sticks, so you can't, can't use it, which is pain because it would be easier if this was working, and then I could just scroll down on my agents and pick it because I can't remember the name of... I can't remember the name. Call me 
So it's bringing up, then I can have a just look to see if there's anything that I want to do. Ideally, I'd want to scroll down to see what agents I've got. But anyway, the point is, is that you can now use the agents in one piece of work. You don't have to swing across to them all, which is really cool. So you do the workflow in one place rather than jumping backwards and forwards. This is a really great addition now to uh, ChatGPT. This completely is taking us in a, yet again, groundbreaking new direction. It's still a bit quirky, so you need to think about you know, like I just did, you have to think about actually what's the question. Otherwise, it's not going to get it. So what I've been doing is is saying, do it in, you can see, look, follow Ben. And it hasn't worked. So I've had to say, do not update, put the new quotes here. So you're still having to think a little bit about what you're doing. But I can use these in my social media copy. I can then say... Um, add a website address where I put the article, then the quote links to the article. And what's nice about these quotes is they are taken from your copy. They're not in anybody else's, so they're 100% authentic and aligned, which is exactly what we want.